Hi, my name's Brooke Saban. I'm a travel journalist with Stuff. Best job in the world, I hear you say, and I couldn't agree with you more. But there's a part of it that we don't show you. People think it's all sitting on the beach or going to an overwater resort, when in reality it's a little bit more like this, staying at a glamping with no power and doing work in the car at 5.30 in the morning. Good morning. It's uh, 5.30. Three degrees outside. I'm here because it's the only place I can power my laptop. I'm very tired. Very tired. Or there's times like this where it just goes wrong. Oh, 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 are you okay? <laughs> so myself and Rada Ingling, who you actually just saw there. Uh, crash, but don't worry, she was okay. Are travelling around New Zealand in the Stuff Travel Hyundai Kona Electric for 100 days from Cape Reinga to Bluff and then back to Cape Reinga again. Now it's a big trip. In, during the day we are filming, we're photographing and we are travelling and then at night we're writing stories and filing videos for Stuff and also filing stories for some of Stuff's newspapers. So. We, we thought, you know, we show you the good stuff all the time, the lovely photos, the lovely videos. It's time we show you the stuff that goes wrong as well, because it's pretty intense. So we're going to start off with a little example in a place called Whangamamona. Now, where is that, I hear you ask? It's in the middle of nowhere between Stratford and Taumaranui on the Forgotten World Highway. It's a magical drive getting in. You drive through tunnels and primeval forest, and out you pop at this little hotel with no Wi-Fi or no reception. Now that's a bit of a problem when we are filing stories every night. So I got in the car, drove up the road, found a lovely lady who let me hook into her Wi-Fi and I sat in the car and worked for the night. And then I came back to the hotel and this is what I found. Well, well, well. I've been doing work in the car down the road because it's the only place I can get reception. And I've come back to the hotel and it's locked. <laughs> and there's no reception, I've got no way of contacting anyone. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna have to yell up to Rada's room and wake people up. Rada. Not working. Rada. I'm stuffed. I'm really stuffed. Look. Nothing. I need to have a good sleep. Rada! There's a fire exit. Okay, I've come on the fire exit. That's locked. This is bad. Okay. Oh, thank God. I got him, I'm broken. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight into the realities of travel journalism. It isn't always glamorous and over the next 100 days we'll be showing you lots more of that.